Alice Hinckley is a wife, a daughter, a friend, a learner, a child of God, a nervous girl, a happy girl, a joyful girl, um, a driven person, so many things. I mean, really at my core, I think I'm someone who's really interested in other people. And that, as I look over my life, has really come true day after day after day. I am most passionate about helping other people. Does that show up in my business? Yes, but it shows up in my personal life a lot too. You know, I've done a lot of volunteering in the community. I've been the president of charities. I'm on committees. And that's important to me because the community gives us our business. And I feel like we're then called to give back to our communities. So um, I'm really driven to help people. And of course, that makes my business grow and stronger but I think that it's also part of your life in the community too. Well, you know, I love my business, Kimberly. My business is focused on helping women entrepreneurs, specifically those who have chosen a career in direct selling or network marketing, and helping them really see who they are. You know, I find as women, we get lost sometimes in all those roles, right? Wife, mother, friend, sister, and Sometimes we need another person to shine their light on the strengths and abilities we have that maybe we've forgotten about. And the reason for me direct selling and network marketing is so important is that I don't think every woman, every woman that chooses a business wants to be a millionaire or a multimillionaire. And direct selling and network marketing is the perfect venue for a mom who wants her kid to get to play at select soccer and it not be a stress on their family or for someone who's working several jobs because they're a single mom and they really want to have more time with their family and just have their one full-time job and a part-time business. So for me, my business is about helping those women really achieve whatever their definition of success is. And so finding that definition and then giving them the tools to step-by-step, -step, whether they love nutrition or jewelry or clothing or electricity or food. I mean, there's direct selling and network marketing for so many things. So whatever they're driven to help others experience, I want to help them succeed in that at the level that's important to them. Well, first of all, I'm going to say getting into any business is hard, right? Starting any new endeavor, whether it is network marketing or whether it, you decide to open a franchise or whether like I met a lady who started a tea business and now she manufactures tea and it's a huge business this weekend. Who would have thought? Is it easy? No, it's hard, but because you're passionate about it or you're passionate about what the money's gonna do for your family or for you or for a cause that's important to you, you can make it happen. I think the reason that I've succeeded in direct selling and network marketing is I've been consistent. It's so important to work your business every day and people say that, but do you really do it? I mean, I schedule it, I make sure. I think that Another reason that I'm really successful in every endeavor is that I build community. And many people in network marketing and direct selling really are there just to make a little bit of extra money, but to be connected to a positive world. I mean, you just have to turn on the TV or the radio or go to your full-time job, or even if you're a stay-at-home mom and you're at the park, there are people complaining all around you. And you find mostly in the network marketing industry that people are really focused on how can I be better? How can I make an impact? How can whatever my product is make a difference for you? And I think embracing the idea of making community and having people feel completely connected. I mean, I had somebody tell me just yesterday, I really want to go to this other company, but I don't want to leave your community. And I said, you know what? We will love you anyway. Right? You found something that's the perfect fit for you. That's where you should be, which is not the way most people would react, right? So I think if you really focus on building a community, have people connected, and teaching them the step-by-step -step method, they'll stay with you forever. I believe whether you're honestly looking for your spouse or a really good friend, you have to decide the four or five character traits that are crucial to you in the people that you want to be surrounded with. And then you have to become those. 
That way you'll attract those into your life. You know, it's interesting. Somebody said to me, you don't have any negative people in your life. I'm like, that's because they don't like me, right? I mean, I have, that's one of my five character traits is gratitude and joy and just having that be your center every day. People are attracted to that. People who want to be whiny are not going to be attracted to me. They're going to be around me a little bit and they're going to be like, really lady? And they're going to be gone. And that's okay because I sowed my seed into them as much as I could. And everybody isn't in your life for a lifetime. Some people are there for a season. So, you know, I think what are those five character traits? You know, if you're looking for leaders, then you have to be a real leader. You can't call yourself a leader without doing the things you expect other people to do, right? If you want to be people that communicate with you, then you better work on your communication skills. So pick those five things that are important to you. They'll be different than mine because we're all different, but become those more and more every day and your community will be those people. And what's interesting about that is even if you don't talk to those people every day, or even if you don't see them, but once or twice a year, they will feel instantly connected to you when you are together or have a phone conversation because you are so much alike in those, that high level of character. You know, I, I love to say success is not permanent and failure is not fatal. It's the courage to go on, right? I mean, challenges and disappointments and failure are how you figure it out. I mean, some of the challenges that I face, I, I really struggle with follow up. And some people will be like, you struggle with follow up? Yes, or, or maybe I'm too hard on myself, but I don't, you know, there are a lot of people that I've met that I haven't followed up with the way I would hope. And I even said to someone recently, I met someone this weekend who that's their specialty. I'm like, I may need coaching from you because I think my business could be even stronger, right? You know, challenges are when you start changing, the people around you won't like it. I mean, that's a life challenge, right? If you're going into business for yourself and you're going to better yourself, you start improving. You know, you even see this with people that lose a little weight or they get married and happy. Their single friends aren't so pe peachy keen on them anymore because when people change, it makes everyone around them look in a mirror, right? And sometimes we don't like that reflection. So to me, I think one of the biggest challenges is be careful of your expectations of other people. Be graceful, you know, love on them because your changing is affecting them. Your choices are affecting them. And so give them a little grace along the way. You know, I think for me, I make every day a masterpiece. You know, I mean, I had lunch with a great friend yesterday who just lost a 25 year old nephew and another friend recently lost someone in their twenties. Tomorrow's not guaranteed. And you want to make sure that the people around you, when you're gone, they were touched by you, that you left an imprint on them. So I think a way to do that is going back to building that community. You know, I love Stephen Covey's Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, and my favorite one is be more interested than interesting. We're all so busy, especially in business, oh, let's get our message out there, let's get our message out there. You know what, if you get somebody connected to you, they'll take your message all day long. I mean, I don't tell people what I do, for a while. I say, oh, I wrote a cool book, I love it, or oh, I, I'm in social selling, I'll tell them, I just keep asking them questions about them. Sooner or later, they're like, almost shake you. What do you do? You know, because you've built that rapport. They like you, they adore you. They're, they're like, I wanna be around this person, so what do they do? So I, I think, I also always say work hard, play hard. You know, I mean, had a busy, busy, busy month. I'm going to the spa in Arizona for five days with a girlfriend at the end of the month. Yay me, right? People are like, oh, you're so lucky. I worked really hard to be able to do that, right? And to pamper myself and enjoy it. I'm spending a whole month with my husband in November playing golf and tennis and just good time, right? We've worked very hard to be able to do that. We plan for it, we're ready. So I'm willing to bust butt, right? to be able to have that wonderful time and those gifts. So, you know, you do have to make little sacrifices along the way, but the compound effect of those sacrifices, you know, I always use the example of people say, well, I don't have time to read. If you read 15 pages a day for a year, which will take you 15 to 20 minutes, you will have read a dozen books over 300 pages by the end of the year. It's not that you don't have time, it's you choose not to make time. 
So make those little sacrifices, right? They will be so worth it for in the end. Well, you know, it's so interesting. I, I love getting paid to do something. My husband says all the time, you would do it for free, which is true. <clears throat> but most people need to know that there's a value in it, right? So my speaking and training really is focused on those women in network marketing and direct sales, giving them those little skills, that little bit of encouragement. You know, the main thing that people do in network marketing that kills them is it's like a roller coaster. They work, 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 and boom, it gets so, and then they stop. They go around a few little curves sliding around, and then they got to work, 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 work again. So teaching the skills of a little bit every day consistency and watching that being built over time, how it can change your business. You know, I have a friend who was over yesterday and she's like, I really want to write this book in this program, but I don't know. I'm like 30 minutes a day for 90 days. You will have written for 45 hours. You ought to have five books by then, right? I mean, really? So people just look at things in this huge, oh my gosh, I can't do it. And if you break it down, and then make that time every day for the amount you broke down, what you end up with and the momentum will surprise you because it'll have an exponential effect over time. To go to the next level, you have to be willing to invest your time at the next level, right? You know, you can't make a six figure income doing $10 activities. So maybe if you wanna to go to the next level in your business, Maybe you need a little personal branding. Maybe you need to get out in the community and be a volunteer for something that's important to you. You need to raise your uh, perception in the world, what people see you, that they see you're a person that impacts others, that you're willing to go the extra mile. And that'll, you'll do it in your business if you choose to do it in other areas of your life too. Maybe you've been talking about working out, right? But you don't do it. If you'll allow 15 minutes a day, I mean, I just started, it's been about eight months now, push-ups, crunches, and squats every morning. Not making, it's making a huge difference, and I feel pretty strong, girl, but it's making a difference because I made a commitment to myself that I kept. And so I see that going over into my business, some things, some new things that we're doing in my business, you know, recording programs and getting ready to launch those. Everything kind of goes up to the next level when you do it it's almost like you can push yourself in all areas of your life. So maybe pick one little thing in a different part of your life that has been a struggle and pick something simple to do to support that. And then it almost creates this energy that you want to do it in your business too. Well, I'm going to show it to you because I'm proud of the cover, but I'll tell you about it. Nailed in 90 is a book I wrote with my friend Kim Johnson. We traveled all over the world together with Tony Robbins for well over a decade and nailed in 90 for direct selling and network marketing is all about a 90-day plan i said it before people go up and down and up and down it's amazing what you can do in 90 days if you actually choose a specific outcome and set a plan of action to do something every day so the book is really setting you up for success asking you some great questions about setting that goal literally the first 60 pages are like that and then a daily page asking you questions encouraging you teaching lessons every week helping you wrap up your week and really get to your outcome and see what you truly want probably my favorite thing in the book is a question that i've been asking myself for a long time and Kim and I realized a lot of other people don't ask themselves this question. And the question is, what has to happen for you to thrive in your life, in your business? Not just survive, not just exist, but what's thriving for you? Like thriving for me is spending a month with my husband, right? People are like, how can you do that? Because we made that, we define, we talk about it every year in January. So what has to happen for us to thrive this year? I mean, just when you say the word, you have a different body chemistry. We don't all think about that in our lives. So I just love the book because we've done programs and help people through each step and just seen, you know, funny, their businesses grow. We've had people do amazing things in their businesses, but the person they become in the process is what they tend to thank you for at the end, which I find to be so interesting but isn't that what life really is whether it's the part about your business or not the person you become in the process i think the one thing i would want to share is that you can do this and there are people out there that want to help you 
you are not alone. And there are many women that feel alone, whether they're married or single, um, they feel alone, that they're carrying so much. And sometimes that, mo that extra money relieves the stress of bills coming in the mail, right? So extra money is just not about having money in the bank. It's about that emotion that you get, you know, giving something to your family, giving to your community, you know, the pride of your kid being able to have select soccer or play softball or be a cheerleader. Those things cost money, right? Maybe it's the thrill of taking your family on a vacation and you never thought you'd be able to. So to me, I think you can do this is what people know and you don't have to go it alone. And that is such a key to me in the network marketing industry is find a product you love and find someone who's getting what you want in that company and follow them. And you'll be surprised how you blossom, how you grow, the person you become and the money you make and the lives you change. Because once you get on my side of it, Kim, you realize how many other women there are out there that you not sharing this gift is keeping them from having what you have. And I am grateful for the people who brought me to direct selling and network marketing literally two decades ago. Because my life is, it, I, I'm not, I don't even look like the same person or have the same life I had then. And I'm blessed and mostly that's because of the richness of the people. You can find me at my website is yourlightbulbmoments.com, yourlightbulbmoments.com. And of course, you can find us on Nail It in 90 on Facebook, a beautiful page. Um, we just have some, you'll see a picture of Kim and I there. And we've got some, a great, huge following of people all over the world, which is exciting that we're helping make a difference in their network marketing business. So find me on Facebook, find me on my website. I would love to connect with you. You may be one of the people that I can help change the trajectory of their life forever.